Hi, I'm Green Shireen and it is almost St. Patrick's Day, if not already. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what happens when spring is on the way. Okay, I'm calling myself St. Green only because I'm gonna bring you some tips on how to make your clothes last longer. A few of those tips have to do with things that you can do with items that you're wearing, things that you can do for storage, things that you can do as we're transitioning into spring and you're bringing things out from storage, and I'm going to share those with you since I'm seeing green. We are going to start with sweat stains. What you're going to do is use lemon juice. You don't want to overdo the lemon juice because you will make it yellow, but you want to use a little bit of lemon juice. If you buy lemon juice, you can use that. If not, if you're squeezing a fresh lemon, you can definitely use that as well. You want to just use a few drops. It's always helpful to throw a few drops in a load of white laundry. It actually makes it much brighter, and it's natural and green, not to mention. Another tip. We're getting into rainy season a little bit, but before we get into rainy season, you may be finding yourself wearing a bit of suede. I got a new pair of suede shoes that I cannot wait to show you coming up this week, but how do you clean suede? What happens when something gets on suede? <sighs> Strange but true. If something happens to your suede shoes or your suede bag, you can take a stale crust of bread and just rub it on a little gently, and guess what? You're cleaning your suede. That will Use it on your bags. Use it on your shoes. Super helpful way to keep suede clean. Remember not Patent leather shoes are really tricky. I take mine to the cobbler, he shines them up for me, that's fabulous, but if you don't have time to do that, or if you wanna do this on your own, did you know that Windex will clean your patent leather shoes? Little bit of Windex on a hand towel, wipe your patent leather shoes, and you're good to go. You can. You ever carry a big purse, keep a whole bunch of stuff in it? We all do, we're all guilty, I'm definitely guilty. No. Some Sometimes things spill in your bag, the worst, a nightmare. What happens if oil spills? What do you use to clean it up? Try baby powder. A little bit of baby powder in your purse will get rid of oil stains. It'll soak it up and it'll be smelling fresh when you're done. Who does not love the scent of baby powder? What you can do is you can flip those hangers around as you wear something, and every time you do that, you'll have an idea of what you've worn and what you haven't, and make sure you're rotating through your wardrobe. If you get through a whole season, or God forbid an entire year, and you don't wear something, I promise you're not gonna wear it later, you need to donate it, or sell it. I mentioned throwing a little bit of lemon juice in with your whites. What do you throw in when you're washing your denim? First off, you don't wash denim frequently. You wash denim infrequently, otherwise they'll start to fade. But yeah. Add just about half a cup of vinegar and it'll keep your jeans from fading. I also turn them inside out and sometimes I refrain from throwing them in the dryer. For things like your black jeans, black denim, don't be afraid to get dye. Use a little bit of dye. I love my black jeans, uber black, and I will definitely dye them to keep them that way. Here's what you can do to get the scratch off of your leather shoes or your leather bag, or even your leather shirt. Just get a tiny bit of moisturizer and massage it right along the scratch. You don't wanna to touch nail polish on your clothing. I do not have a fun way to get nail polish out of clothing, sorry. So if you're trying to figure out whether or not your nails are dry, what you can do is touch them against each other. Tapping your nails against each other, you'll see whether or not they stick, and if they stick, guess what? You're not quite dry yet, and if they don't stick, you're dry. If you mess it Red wine comes out of clothing if you use white wine to get it out. A few dabs of white wine, and you're good to go. You wanna make sure that you do that as quickly as possible, though. <clears throat> if you're getting your clothes out for storage, if you're just going into change seasons, I've given you a ton of tips on how to make sure that you're optimizing the use of your clothing and keeping as much of your wardrobe as possible, even your shoes, your handbags. Just to run through it again, lemon juice will get the sweat stains out of your clothing. Uh, stale bread will wipe off the marks and scuffs on your suede shoes and bags. Leather, we have leather everywhere coming out of this recent season. How do you clean leather? A little bit of moisturizer gets the scratches out. Patent leather, how do you clean that? Windex, amazing. Jeans, how do we keep them from fading? A Little bit of vinegar. Lemon juice also goes into your whites. Red wine comes out, use white wine. Keep your nail polish off your clothing by ensuring it's dried by touching it on both sides. Speaking of nail polish, today this is Shake Your Money Maker on my nails. That's Essie's color. I've, I've shown you this before. Told you I was gonna rock it around St. Patrick's. One of my favorite shirts, just to make sure that you do St. Patrick's Day without being leprechaun -y. 
This one is a uh, Philip Limford Target. It's full green in the back, but you'll notice the front has a nice blue. It's great to offset with some color blocking. Some blue jeans is how I'll style it. On the lips is MAC Lip Jelly. This one's called Jelly Babe. The rings are vintage. This is like my high school graduation ring. This one I got from Bobble Bar, and this is a sapphire that was gifted from my dad. My watch is Michael Kors. The bracelets is what I call a stack attack over here. Various Cartier and some gold that I bought down in Panama. My regular Chanel frames and the shirt is from Banana Republic. That's it. I just want to thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. God bless. Bye.